hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're returning thanks for being loyal i see you so guys in today's video i will be doing another wig installation yes you heard me another wig installation but if you would like to support my channel make sure you like comment subscribe and follow my social medias down in the description box below okay guys so let's get into this video okay so first things first i got this wig from a beauty supply store in queens yes a beauty supply store um the wig isn't bad so don't try it the wig is actually very nice i as you could tell i already wore it one time and i did a horrible job at plucking uh yeah and i already cut the front of the lace so is this really insulation i don't know <laughs> but yeah that is the wig okay it's pretty obvious that this wig is in shambles so where do i begin honestly um so okay so first things first i know that i did not bleach my knots i would like to attempt to bleach my knots but let me i'm just doing baby steps first okay i gotta first things first i gotta learn how to apply the wig before i do bleaching so the method that i use is the scar away and if you watch my other wig installation video you would know that it's just like basically tape like some skin tape that you use that you use for healing i don't know i just know that i use it to cover my knots in the middle of my closure and then i just took some of my setting powder and brushed it on to tint the lace so that it will sort of match my skin complexion but yeah right now i'm just cleaning up my um lace in the front so that it wouldn't look so crazy i'm just going over it and making it look as natural or like seamless or like unnoticeable as possible and before the video continues any further, I just want to apologize for my audio. I'm not using my proper headphones and it's driving me nuts hearing how like, not echoey, but like far away I am when I'm literally sitting right here editing. It's killing me. So I do apologize for that. A quick tip uh, when doing the front of your closure, you don't want to cut the lace in a straight line. You want to do like jagged or like wavy movements so that the lace won't look so straight and wig like so yeah that's what i'm trying to fix but obviously i already cut too much lace before so it kind of looks stupid but in my mind i'm thinking that is helping So here's the part where I add my glue. Last time I used the Got To Be Glue Free Spray. This time I will be using the Ghost Bond XL Lace Glue. And this glue, like when I say this, like it's stuck, it's stuck. Like your wig isn't going anywhere. So I start off by pinning the hair back and then I do uh, three layers. You could do either do two or three. I do three for extra security. You could do two to three layers of the little dots and then you like you you see you'll wipe it down smear it let it dry not dry completely but like get tacky and then you repeat the layer over and over again well the three times or two times and then you blow dry and lay the wig um everything's very self-explanatory especially if you watch the video you see what i do and it's pretty easy honestly i like the glue because the glue lasts a lot longer than the free spray Here, I obviously let the glue dry a little too long. I was busy doing something. And you can see right now, like what I'm talking about, like that's the state you want it in. You want it in like that tacky, but like still wet type of like consistency. Um, I let it dry a little too long, but that is a good, that's a perfect amount of transparency that you want. Um, before the 
dots actually so actually when you first apply the uh, glue you want to do this first you want to um, smear it out first and then let it dry to that consistency and then repeat that process over my slow ass did it very backwards <laughs> and that's what happened it wasn't moving it wasn't going nowhere i'm not going nowhere i'm not going no fucking where right there that's the type of sticky consistency that you want to lay your lace front on lace front lace closure whatever that's the part you want to lay the wig on as you can see i picked it up and pulled it forward you can either lay it on that line oh y'all y'all see how that low key blended low key low key low key blended um but yeah you can either place the actual line of the wig on it or place like at least like an inch or so of the wig on it you know enough to where it's not pulling and it looks crazy and then if you have like extra tips lying up which uh which i think i have a little bit i just take a little bit of my got to go got to be glue free spray and place that on there and then dry it so that it lays down and plus when you tie your elastic band on it will lay down anyways so you're good so then you just want to pull the wig up place it down directly on the glue and then use your uh metal tail comb uh, or the thing I had before and like lay it down like press it in so that it melts or whatever you want to call it into the thing and then you just grab your blow dryer for extra um <laughs> for extra you know bondage just so like it can seal and the glue won't be so wet when you tie your wig when you tie your wig oh my god when you tie your elastic band on Another quick tip when I'm doing this part, if you want to get the hair straighter, you can add got to be glue free spray and blow dry it so that that part of the hair goes straight. And yeah, I went ahead and added a little bit of got to be glue free spray on my finger and applied it to the wig. I didn't spray it directly on because I didn't want it to get wet and lift. So yeah, and then after that, I will take my elastic band and tie it around my wig. Uh, how I apply it is I do like a little bit on enough to know I know that is laying on the place where I apply the glue and then I tie it not as as tight as I possibly can as much as I can tolerate and then I leave it on. I leave a little bit of room for styling purposes but yeah you just want to tie that whole on and make sure it's secure or whatever. So here's my favorite part the styling. So what I want to do is get the top of it as flat as it can go to make it look appropriate you know what i'm saying like not too flat because then it'll look stupid just flat enough to know that there's not a bump at the top so i'm going to be taking my care care stick which smells amazing and i'm going to just apply that to the top of my wig so that it can the heat um from the hot comb can help you know slick it down or whatever i don't know why i struggle with flattening the top of my hair with my uh, hot comb i don't know if i'm not pulling it through all the way or like i'm not leaving it on long enough so it can flatten i don't know let me know down below give me some tips on how i could um get it flatter with my hot comb or whatever like that but yeah so i'm just gonna be focusing on flattening the top of my head guys and another tip that i would appreciate is if somebody could tell me how the hell i can cut the front of my lace because like i can do it like it looks good but then like when i look at it it looks too oval like and i'm doing the jaggy motion 
I'm doing it in zigzags or whatever and it's still looking like oval shape I don't know who is I giving what it's supposed to give so please let me know down in the comments below how can I fix that issue as well stepping out of my comfort zone here I am actually pulling the hair away from my face I usually I usually try to keep the hair very over my forehead type of thing but I'm gonna try to pull it away to give it that wig look that I always want to achieve so I'm just gonna apply the care care stick to the front of my hair and kind of like brush like comb it back so that it has like that like silky like brush back look and then I'm gonna try to like push it slowly to the front to like to create that to create <laughs> to create that like like I don't know like humped over look but like still slick I don't know you'll see what I mean in a minute though and it's so crazy to me like with the band on like it actually looks like I know what I'm supposed to be doing but then when I take the band off I'm like what the fuck <laughs> like it's not supposed to look like that moving on to fixing my noticeable ball spots from over plucking i'm actually gonna take some mascara to kind of like fill in that little bald spot um listen it gets the job done if you know what i can use other than mascara please let me know but mascara is what i'm using for the moment and it works i can't say it doesn't work i mean you can see that it works it fills it in and yeah you know don't get me wrong the camera's not giving it it's justice that it deserves but it works okay it works I'm just adding some concealer to clean up my part and make it look more like a straight part. y'all cannot lie like <laughs> i did that i did like that's not looking it's looking like a part i mean it's not looking like a part part but it's looking like a part it's like it's going out the scalp even though i did not bleach and i did probably didn't do the proper steps to achieve that but guys you have to give me my credit that look good that looks all right okay i'm fooling somebody <laughs> um but after this i did kind of mess it up but by adding that mascara the part looks lopsided now i should have left it alone but little did i know that like i messed it up until now so when i first took off the band it actually didn't look that bad i kind of actually like it looking back it wasn't as oval as i thought and to get rid of those dry crusty white pieces from the glue i just added a little bit of got to be glue free spray so to achieve that nice looking hairline that I wanted, I went ahead and tried to part the wig and pluck it a little bit more on the front so I could get like that sparse looking hair grow type of thing. But unfortunately, that did not work my way because as you can see, the little piece of the white rag I just saw you, that's the black pieces that you can see on my lace front. And when I try to part it to make baby hair and like do my whole plucking situation and make my baby hair, whatever, you can see the black. And it honestly looked really dumb and it looked tacky. Like you can see it, like the little black little pieces of 
I believe mascara or glue from my last time and it just looked really dumb when I tried to part it and make it look like baby hair also I don't know what that piece is that's actually a piece of the track but sad to say I had to take the wig off because it was not coming off like I really had to take the wig off and repeat that whole process again because it was not coming out right and I'd be damned if I looked dumb you know but here I am again attempting to get that sparse hairline type of thing yes I know there's a ball spot yet there yes I know that I'm probably over fucking but I'm trying to find a way a method to get that sparse hairline that I want so badly so if you guys have any tips or tricks how I should pluck where I should pluck please let me know in the comments down below so I can attempt it on another wig and not a wig already <laughs> messed up but yeah I'm really trying my best to get that sparse type of hairline by plucking and I don't know if bleaching the knots have anything to do with getting that sparse hairline and maybe that's why mine is looking like that but once again please let me know down below not gonna front though it kind of does look really good like <laughs> at least for me being a beginner and that's why i titled these videos beginner friendly because i am still a beginner at doing wigs and maybe someone that is experiencing the same things that i'm going through you know this will help a little bit like we could struggle together you know to the worst part of it all the baby hairs okay so when i do baby hairs i usually just like i said push the hair forward and do a little swoop in the middle of my forehead and call it a day but now i said i need to step out of my comfort zone and try to do the baby hairs the proper way so as you can see at first i have the baby hair right near the middle of the part now sis that's not where they go they literally go on like the side of where the closure part is ends that's where you want to push your baby hair you want to push them in the corner so that they don't look like two little stupid nubs touching each other okay you want them as far as part as possible so that it looks good on your forehead okay i was doing them so wrong before and another thing you want them like not too thick you want them like thin ish so that it still looks like you're laying hair on your forehead so another tip like with that like, I noticed like what I'm picking up from doing it is when you do the baby hair like you don't want them too thick you want them thin enough and you also don't want them too long or too short you want them at the perfect length where you can swoop them and like get that nice swoopage going if they're too short you're not going to be able to achieve it you're going to need like a lot of like, not a lot of product but like a good amount of product and like a good enough, enough like dry time so it can hold and if they're too long it's just gonna not swoop right so you need like the perfect length okay and another tip with baby hairs is when you're cutting them uh, after you shear them you want to cut them at an angle okay at an angle I don't know doing baby hairs is like really stressful to me because they can make or break your look like that's how important baby hairs are to wig slayage okay if you mess up them baby hairs that's it throw the whole wig away just throw it away and like at one point i almost had it but it was too thin and then I had to add more hair and then add more hair. I cut them too short and then it's just really like you got to get baby hair down to a science. Like if anybody can help me once again, drop comments down below because listen, I'm all for the tips, okay? <laughs>
when I started questioning myself whether or not I can pull these baby hairs off, but I had to. I just couldn't stop. So I actually noticed when I placed the carrot hair on my edges, it was actually giving me a better hold than the edge control that I was using. So I started using the carrot hair as my like <laughs> gel, if you would, and it was actually holding the hair in place so that I can carve it. So I mean, it made it a little shiny or whatever, but listen, it was holding, it was doing the job. <laughs> I don't think y'all understand how stressed I was when it came to these damn baby hairs. Like, <laughs> I was struggling. After my struggle with my baby hairs, it was time to touch up the rest of my hair. So I kind of went in with some concealer and then I realized it was too light and then I went in with some of my skin foundation, skin foundation, <laughs> foundation, and to try to blend it in just to make it look better, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it made it better or worse, but at the end of the day, I was just trying to make something work and then I went ahead and when it's with some rubbing alcohol to take some of that makeup off and just try to like blend everything together you're saying you go with the brush um i should have tried my beauty blender but i used my finger or whatever to blend it out and then i just took some got to be blue free spray and put it on the parts where i put the makeup to try to i guess blend it and like melt it and let it set in and yeah i just tied my band back on guys and bada bing bada boom that is it <laughs> all right guys this is the final look with this wig so for the details of the wig you know i didn't do it in the rest of the video this wig did come from a beauty supply store in rockaway uh, i don't remember the name of it i know i paid maybe like 149 and up for it i can't really remember I know that this is a closure. I don't remember if it's like 4x4 or 5x5. It comes to like here or whatever the case may be. But this is the wig and it's um, natural state, no product. I washed it. This is my first time washing it. And I have to say for a beauty supply store wig, that is mad soft. It's so soft. Um, I remember when I first got it because I got this back in March. And I remember when I first got it, I did trim it a little bit so that it looks more even and i haven't worn it since then i don't know i feel really weird wearing wigs i don't know but let's get into the job that i did so this looks weird right now because i had my band on and i did my um foundation so it looks dumb crazy but but i do have to say that it doesn't look that bad if you would say so i did not bleach my knots i I'm still taking baby steps into this whole like wig game, like learning how to do wigs and stuff. So that would be the next step that I would do, which is bleaching my knots and stuff like that. But for now, um, I just did that technique that I did in my You Nice hair review. Well, whatever, um, wig is like uncomfortable with doing baby hairs. It was a struggle, okay? I usually just do a baby soup right here and call it a day. And then I just swoop the rest of the hair down the front of my face like that. But I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and do like attempt to do the little swoops on the side to make it look pretty, whatever. I mean, I guess I did a a good job. I keep looking at my mirror because it looks different on my phone versus the mirror. But I think I did a pretty good job. I followed this plucking tutorial on YouTube. If I remember, I'll link it down in the description box below. I want to show you guys the hair in two different ways. Let me give you a full spin. I don't know how the back looks. Oh my god. And then I want to show you guys this is the hair. What? So give me a moment, okay? And this is the hair wet. I kind of like both. I like the wet because I you know it makes it look so like smooth and silky. Like hold on. 
definitely is very pretty like i would love to see like if i were to put product in it how would it um hold up i was thinking about cutting this wig like shorter length but i think i'm gonna leave it as is um it's very pretty wet it's like a loose wave i don't want to say like deep wave because deep wave is definitely like a lot coilier i don't know could it be deep wave i really can't remember what the hell this wig is and it's a pretty good wig for it to be like from the beauty supply store like this is one of those like nice like you know you know if you're from new york you know that there's those nasty beauty supply stores and then those those beauty supply stores that you think you just walk into a whole new world you know what i'm saying it was giving that it was giving very very much that but this i like it but now that i look at it like i can't wait like when it dries you know like define Okay, what? And it's so soft. Like, I can't believe how soft it is. It's unbelievably soft. But, okay, go for this. That is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below how did I do. Uh, give me more tips. I need tips, guys. Because, like, oh, and I, well, whatever. I'm going to say that in the video. Um, let me know some tips down in the comments below. Like, what can I do? I struggle with um, my edges. The application I'm pretty solid with. And being that I did wear this big again, like this is my second time wearing it and I'm like revamping it type of thing. Um, you know, like I, I did a good job. I feel like I just need more tips on the plucking and I feel like that would be better once I bleach it though. You know what I'm saying? Like I could pull it off a lot more once it's bleached, but it doesn't look that bad. actually like it or not or like it or not okay guys but that is it for this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and follow my social medias which will be down in the description bar below okay guys and remember that it only gets better from here and that's one period